Situated inside of a large Scottish bay is a small Scottish island that is home to not a single person. At first glance, this small island seems of little to no importance. However, for decades, this island was perhaps the deadliest island in the UK. This island is Grenard Island, better known as Anthrax Island. Grenard Island, located in Grenard Bay, is only 2 kilometers long by 1 kilometer wide, making it pretty dang small. The island is located in the Inner Hebrides Archipelago in the Scottish Highlands and has a few small villages near it. However, as for the island itself, it's never been home to many people. Despite being claimed by Clan Mackenzie, whose crest features mountains on fire, pretty cool, just pointing that out, the island had never had a documented population higher than six, and this was in the late 1800s. By the early 1900s, the island was completely uninhabited, which is why in 1942, during the Second World War, the British government turned their attention to this tiny island. This is because the British government wanted to test out the effectiveness of anthrax. Anthrax is an infection caused by the bacteria Bacillus anthracis. It's capable of entering a body through multiple means, all with different nasty effects. The most common but least deadly form is the skin, called cutaneous anthrax. In fact, this is a little over 90% of documented cases. This form typically sees a black painless lesion form on the skin, which will typically scab over and fall off. Inhalation is often considered to be the worst. If inhaled, it can take as little as a few days to a few months to see any symptoms. But once you see them, it kinda sorta sucks. These symptoms include nausea, vomiting, vomiting out of your butt, shortness of breath, and the possibility of going from alive to not alive. Which is what made Bacillus anthracis such an interesting little bacteria to British scientists, because of its potential to be used as a bioweapon. Bacillus anthracis is typically found in soil as a spore, where it can survive for decades until being consumed by an animal of some sort. Once consumed, the bacteria can reproduce from inside the animal, increasing its nasty side effects until it eventually kills its host. The idea was to drop these spores onto the enemy, infecting their cities and making them uninhabitable. To test this, a bomb was created containing a strain of Bacillus anthracis known as Volum 14578. This bomb was dropped onto 80 sheep that were placed on the island and within a few days, all 80 sheep were dead. After the researchers burned the sheep corpses to prevent spread, they determined that their plan of using anthrax as a bioweapon would absolutely work. However, despite multiple plans being put together and devices being created, the British would never utilize anthrax against the Germans in World War II. So after all that, what happened to the island? Well, in 1945, the original owner of the island wanted it back. The government's response was, whoops, we kind of put daily bacteria all over it. So the government formally acquired the island and stated they'd sell it back to the old owner for 500 pounds once they were done cleaning it. Eventually. Someday. Yeah, actually, they just stuck the island in quarantine for a few decades because they deemed it too dangerous to clean. It would take until April 24th, 1990, after nearly 50 years of quarantine, for the government to deem the island safe again. It was sold to the heir of the original owner for the original 500 pound sales price, and today it's still an uninhabited island in the middle of the bay, albeit with the occasional living animal. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.